posting this right now and, and going on live is to um, kind of respond to a question I put out there about, it was a post saying, um, how, asking how many meals a day you believe are the right amount to have a healthy body composition. And you guys had a lot of great answers, um, a lot of variety and all over the place. Um, and I guess in my experience, um, my research, testing and all that kind of stuff, what I found is that pretty much all of you are right in that you can eat a variety of amount of meals in a day. And it's not really about how many meals you eat. It's about having the portioning down in a simple enough way that's manageable so that you know how much you're eating in total in a day. And you don't have to get crazy and track calories or um, exactly nail your macros. Um, they need to be in reasonable ranges. But uh, you can do it with some really simple methods. And a lot of people mentioned, um, some people said stuff about intermittent fasting or IF. Um, it, intermittent fasting can work great. A lot of people have really good luck with it for weight loss. Um, can also give some growth hormone boost, which is like your youth hormone. So those methods can work. Um, so some people said they eat um, one or two meals a day. And as long as you're getting enough calories to sustain, um, you can temporarily cut calories, obviously, for weight loss, as you guys know. But you've got to have something to sustain you in the long run, so you can't do that forever. And so you can do intermittent fasting, but like if you're going to eat one meal a day, you're going to have to be, use the equivalent of um, around four or five meals worth of hand method of portioning meal sizes, if that makes sense, with amounts of protein, um, carbohydrates, and fats, and all that kind of stuff working out. What's up, Steve? So again, to answer the question, it's all of you can be right. You can eat different amounts of meals in the day. Um, you could eat one gigantic meal. You could eat um, two meals that have that one meal's worth of food split in half. Uh, a lot of people said three meals, which you can certainly do that. And like we even teach people how to break those apart to where um, if you're going to eat three meals a day, we show you how much hand method is for a meal. And then we have it set up to where you can eat, um, depending on what you're doing, four or five meals a day worth of food by hand method of portioning. And then if you're trying to only eat three meals, you can simply increase the portions in two of those meals by a meal and a half and then kind of have a half meal snack as a buffer or something like that. So if that makes sense, um, there are lots of ways to break it down. Uh, some people mentioned even six or seven meals a day. And some of this obviously is dependent on goals, um, you know, and depending on what the person is trying to do. If you've got some steroid filled bodybuilder or whatever, they can get away with eating a lot more calories because their body's going to grow at a lot faster rate and use up those calories. So they might be eating even at that hand method of portioning you know, seven meals worth of that same portion amount of food um, in a day and get away with it. But most of us only need a by hand method about four or five meals a day. Um, if you have a super fast metabolism, maybe you're an ectomorph. Um, and so that's like the skinnier person that doesn't tend to put on muscle as easily, but also doesn't really store fat. Like they might need to eat um, six meals worth of food a day. So it's, if you're getting my point here, it's not a matter of how many times you eat, it's the quantity of food that needs to be correct for your current goals, which, you know, your goal might be to lose some body fat. So in that case, obviously you want to reduce the calories a little bit and have a slight deficit of say, anywhere from 10 or 20% is pretty good, no more than about 30% um, if you're doing that on a regular basis. Um, a lot of our processes actually have people moving their calories up and down even day by day to avoid plateauing and um, poor hormonal response that causes fat storage or ceases weight loss. So there's so many techniques out there, but I just want to tell you, you guys are all right. You're all super smart because you can kind of eat however many times a day you want to, as long as you eat the proper amount of food and have a way of tracking that and portioning it. We recommend, again, hand method of portioning, um, and we can get into some more of that later. Um, I'll do a post about it. I don't think I've gone there. I did something about the food types, but um, and I'll have some more stuff coming up here. Uh, I've got one I'm going to post about um, some workout information as well that I'll get out to you guys. So um, start to help with that side. So I hope that's helpful to you guys. Um, so don't worry about how many times you're eating today. It's about the total quantity of food. Some people like to eat a bigger meal and eat less times with those bigger meals. Um, some people like to eat Hi, Asha, I think it is. Um, and so a lot of people... Again, they like to eat bigger portions and eat fewer times. A lot of people 
just can't get that much food in. So they eat smaller amounts of food and eat, you know, anywhere from say four to six times a day. It depends. It's really individual that way. So um, it's really up to you. And it can be even time dependent. Maybe you're short on time and you'd rather just make two meals for the day and eat huge meals if, if that doesn't bother you to sit down and eat. Um, and just realize those meals have to be um, larger. Hi, Kimberly. Uh, so that you can get that in. Um, again, I hope that's helpful. Um, that's kind of how that works. We'll talk more about uh, precise, well, not, we'll, we'll say precise, but it, the easiest way to portion with your hand, the tool that's always with you wherever you go. Um, so you're never in question of how much to eat in a meal. And then know that when we do hand portioning, it's, it's based on about four to five meals a day, depending on what the individual's got going on, if they're exercising intensely or not. Um, so we can talk about that portioning. And then, like I say, get in some exercise methods as well and information on that. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that uh, answers the big question. I, I know a couple of people were poking me going like, when are you going to tell us what, what you think of this? Um, about all their answers and everything on the how many meals a day to eat for healthy body composition. So this is the answer. Um, again, it's flexible. It's, it can be individualized. And, um, but know that when I say that, it's individualized based on exact, or not exact, but hand method of portioning and that it's total amount of food in the day that you can break into any quantity of times to sit down that you want to. Um, Chris, Christopher uh, joked about even eating 17 times a day, which you could do if you wanted to, um, and just break down the um, five meals of hand portion food and just split that into, make it into 17 little portions and eat that way if you wanted to. Um, or again, you can take those and combine them into one. I don't think I could do that. That's too much food for me to combine in one sitting, but uh, I think my stomach would explode. So anyway, hope that helps. Hope it works for you. Um, answers that burning question. And uh, this will be, if you have any questions about it or want to pass it along to somebody, it'll be uh, obviously on my uh, feed in my page. So it'll be there once we get done here. I'll post it. And uh, hopefully this will satisfy uh, some people that have been poking me for the answer. So anyway, um, we'll keep going from here and keep helping you guys out with bits and pieces as we go. And I hope you have a great 4th of July weekend. Hopefully you're getting to do something fun and relaxing. Um, if you watched us earlier on the <clears throat> the uh, Dig Deep show, Kristen and I earlier, um, that's posted in my timeline as well. And I uh, just kind of talked about some of my story over time and some of the struggles I've had and shared about that. Um, kind of what was beneficial, what wasn't, and, um, you know, it, it hasn't always been easy. Um, had a lot of things not go well in my life too, and whether it's fitness and health or in general. So anyway, we shared some of that. We'll continue to do so and hope it helps you guys out. So enjoy your 4th of July weekend. I think Kristen and I are going to get out and do a, uh, maybe a mountain bike ride or something together tomorrow. And, uh, we're still doing some pretty hefty social distancing just to, you know, try to help with that whole situation if at all possible and not contribute to making it worse. So, um, and then Sunday will be our kind of typical rest and relaxation, rejuvenate type of day. So um, kicking back, relaxing a little more and um, just recharging to get ready for the week again. So we can be here and talk to you guys some more. So, all righty. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, look forward to seeing what you've got on more questions I post out there to see what your take is, what you're doing, what's working, what's not working, and go from there. Sound good? All right. Have a good day. Bye, guys.